couch Dat niet alles is Hey there Lickin' Riffers, welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which I want to open your ears to this. Okay, what I consider the most natural tuning for the guitar. Okay, it's really close to standard tuning, but as you can hear, it rains better. Okay, I'm gonna explain why in a second, just listen to it. Okay, listen to the harmonics. Okay, how beautiful is that? Now, this is open D minor, okay? Open D minor, it's, it's seldom used and it's, it's a shame because people use open D major and open D sus, okay? The dad gad tuning, which is very, very prominent in modern finger style. But somehow people forgot that there's also the D minor tuning. Okay? And D minor is actually the standard tuning E minor with the E minor chord on. Okay, instead of putting on the fingers for E minor, you already have the strings there. Okay, so this is basically an E minor chord, your natural E minor chord, standard tuning, just down a whole step. Okay, so almost everything you know can be played on this tuning with the fifth and fourth strings taken into consideration. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean in a second. Okay, so okay, how, how amazing is that? Natural harmonics don't sound better than this, okay? And it's just terrific, it's just very calm, it's very natural, okay? The D minor tuning, okay? Uh, if you've watched my lessons, you know that I consider uh, drop D a better tuning than the standard tuning because D is kind of the natural scale for the guitar, in my opinion. It kind of uses the guitar's sound properties and acoustic properties the best, so D minor, the open D minor tuning, in my opinion, is actually better sounding than the standard tuning. Now, if you want to play a major uh, chord, all you need to do is add one finger to the third string on one. The third string on one turns it into D major. And it's the same for every bar chord you want to play. Okay, so if you want to play, uh, if you want to play G, then you just put a bar on five and um, and put um, six on the third string. Then you have these fingers free for soloing, if you like. Okay, and it's the same for A, it's the same for F. Okay, if you want to play um, a C shape chord, then this because it's the C head but then you have to come to say four strings two and three so it's this okay and you already uh, have the first string in tune so you don't have to just play specific strings okay you can actually strum it unlike other open tunings where you can just pick several strings okay um, so if you want a C-shaped chord, okay, you put a bar um, on strings uh, one, two, four, okay, one, two, three, and four, and you add a finger on uh, one fret above that on the fifth and the second string. So, for example, okay, um, this is this is actually C. This is a C chord. Okay, um, a C chord would be three and two on strings five and four, just like your natural C chord. But you'll have two on the E string, three on the B string, and two on the uh, G string as well. So you're, you have a D chord with the C head, okay? You combine them and you get the C chord here, okay? And it's the same, okay? All around. Okay, if you want B flat, for example, all you need to do is to play uh, one, uh, on the second string and one on the fifth string and the rest is open. Of course, you don't play the sixth string, but B flat never sounded better than this, okay? And B, okay, this is a great sound, okay? This is a terrific open chord, okay? So this is a great substitution for the standard tuning. Um, and 
If you want solo, you have the pentatonic shape on strings 1, 2, and 3, okay? On the E minor pentatonic. Okay? Um, but you already have the 5th and 4th strings tuned to the next notes, so you can play 3 and 0 there. Okay? But even if you just want to experiment with it, I'm playing the same fret on strings 1 and 3. If you play it on strings 1 and 4, you get an octave. So you can combine. bar on anywhere you get a minor chord. You see, you, you can play D major with one on the third string and then just open it again to D minor, okay? It feels very, very natural, unlike the standard tuning which confines you everywhere you go. Um, the standard tuning kind of forces you to play fixed things and with this open tuning you can actually change your modalities, change your scales, change your harmonic center and it will feel completely natural. back to D minor it sounds great okay I don't I don't even play any fixed song but you can you can play fixed song and uh, fixed songs and it's it will sound great here okay you can play uh, you can play Sultan of Swing okay, it's the same thing and then okay, because we have C B flat and A and then even the even the lick Okay, you go to F, okay, bar on 7. Okay, you can use 3 on the E string for the solo. Okay, so, uh, um, and then, um, can do the high C chord okay, on 10. Okay, you see, you, you can play anything on okay, anything on this tuning, almost anything that you can that you can play on the op on the standard tuning. Um, as long as just be patient and take your time to learn this. Okay, this is a terrific. solo on one string, on the fifth string, on the fourth. You can um, try weird combinations. I didn't plan on any of this. I'm just trying random things. And you see, most of them, 99% of them, work immediately, okay? Uh, I just experimented with major and minor chords uh, before this lesson, but you can, you can do wonders with this uh, tuning. Open D minor, D, A, D, F, A, D. Try it. I really try it. Try it. Tune your guitar and, and try it. This, this might change your experience with the guitar because the standard tuning fights you at every turn. Okay, you have to fight it back to make sense of it. The standard tuning, in my opinion, is only good for uh, jazz. 
okay, for jazz chords. Everything else, open tunings win. Okay, hands down, open tunings win, and in my opinion, this is so far the most natural tuning I've found. Okay, so okay, just uh, just have fun with it. Okay, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's hundreds of free lessons for your pleasure and guitar education. Go have fun with this. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.